Created from a clean sheet design based on JLR's lightweight aluminum architecture, which also underpins the F base, the Veeler's construction consists of approximately 80% aluminum, the balance being primarily composed of magnesium and steel. With a wheelbase of 113.2 inches and a 189.0 inch overall length, it's approximately 2 inches shorter than the Range Rover Sport in both dimensions and roughly 17 inches longer than the Evoque. The LED headlamps are reportedly the smallest units fitted to a Land Rover product yet, and their sleek design teams with flush door handles to help the Veeler earn a coefficient of drag of just 0.32, making it the most aerodynamically efficient Land Rover yet. Range Rover says the interior design is the product of reductionism, which is meant to offer an uncluttered environment. Hidden and hill lip controls, they illuminate with a touch, add to the calming effect of the interior. That said, the materials are similar in weight and quality to those of pricier Rovers, with a singular exception, besides the usual selection of supple hides, the Veeler will offer optional seat upholstery woven from the sustainable resources. Developed with the assistance of European textile manufacturer Vodrat, the material will be offered initially in a dapple grey color paired with synthetic suede inserts of ebony or light oyster. Designers told CD that they see an emerging trend of upscale consumers preferring sustainable materials to traditional animal hides. They initially expect approximately 1 in 20 buyers will choose the option at a small premium. Additionally, the Veeler also will serve as the host vehicle for the introduction of the brand's Touch Pro Duo infotainment system. A long overdue technology upgrade, the setup features two 10-inch high-definition touchscreens promising improved functionality.